Hi, I'm Nyx, and this is my channel. I love a good sunset, mate. Today I'm going to take you on my little art studio tour. Nope. Okay, I'm not good at this. Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to take you through some of the things I made in April because I'm a multi-discipline artist and I can't stop creating things. I'm a singer, songwriter, artist. I paint, I sculpt, I do a little bit of everything. This year I learned how to knit sweaters and socks and crochet, digital art, everything in between and I wanted to take you through some of the things I made this month. Well, let's hope this works. I started the month in a deep, deep depression. You'll probably notice that I don't wash my hair for many of the montages at the start, but... Here's what I promise, and clean! That's just what the seasons do to me. I'm a Canadian and I hate the winter. Tell me what country to move to and I'll do it. I'll do it right now, I don't even give a shit. Especially because I'm in Ontario, and if you know anything about the current landscape, oh God, help wah, us wah, wah. And, and another wash. angle. How many angles am I gonna do in this video? I don't even know. And here is me complaining about the cardigan. The ultimate cardigan. It's probably the ugliest thing I've ever made. <laughs> and I love it. It's all- Although it's beautiful, it has that cable knitting. It's hideous. It's mint green and yellow and red. I stood up, I took a step back and realized I hated the colors that I had chosen to begin with. Please enjoy watching me suffer. <laughs> but first, a little break. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the things I was doing and this is a photo shoot for Shop Zeo on Instagram and on Etsy. It's an earring shop I just opened and I'm trying to take photos for the mystery boxes. All of these are handmade and one of a kind by me, so I s spent probably, I don't know, three months making a bunch of earrings uh, over the winter, and I'm finally ready to show people them. Look all these purples and blues and oranges. Um, I'm sanding some pieces while watching some YouTube videos and I will be working with my Dremel later in the video to make a bunch more earrings for the shop. Right here you can see in the background that I haven't started on the second mural yet and soon I'll be starting on the third so mural footage coming soon. video, the one that is currently playing, the funky one, uh, the instrumental tracks are always incredible. I've linked many things down below that you should check out, so make sure you do that. Um, anyway, continue. Thank you. 
I'm working on a crochet mini backpack. You'll see it in the next video, the next wrap up vlog, because I didn't finish it this month, but I did start it and I got to spend some time with my dog and I'm feeling really blessed and grateful, grateful for the life I get to live right now. I am finally about to paint over this. Uh, this is the last thing I have to do uh, before I feel like my room's finally done. Anyway, enjoy. I don't actually know how much I want to share about the story of this mural, but basically I started painting on my walls a couple months ago to hide other artworks and now I'm just turning it into a magical forest. And as you see in these time-lapse videos, I spent hours and days, I think, I cut down some of the footage, but I think I spent a week painting every night and it's still not finished. So I will keep adding on to it until I am content, but right now it's not done. This year I learned more about my personal color palette and what things make me happy to paint than I ever did before. Honestly, don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of the wall yet. I'm enjoying adding month by month. It's kind of tracking my mental progress and going back and adding to older paintings. And I'm really watching my skills develop right before my eyes. And it's back to work, drinking some coffee and then drilling some holes in these earrings, which I sell online if I didn't already plug my shop. Okay, now I'm seriously done plugging my shop. But anyway, it's really fun watching a time lapse of hours and hours of your life being condensed um, into one vlog. This is a month of my life. Anyway, after that, I of course have to put some clear coats and gloss on them and you'll see a lot of this coming up as well. Uh,
with my sexuality and how parents uh, prefer their kids to be straight a lot of the times and how that affects dating. Anyway, I just unraveled a sweater and here's a time lapse of the sunset while I re-knit another part of the cardigan. of new projects. Yeah. Now what you want your new sweater. Life feels like a lie. I need something to be true. Is there anybody out there? Life feels like there's some Disassociated while filming my vid, and now I have too many fruit roll up pictures. <laughs> to use Nothing Revealed by the 1975 right as I'm about to reveal the final product, the final sweater, what I've spent three days re-knitting. It's time for the grand reveal. Really proud of how my cables turned out. I really haven't ever experimented with um, any kind of design when it comes to knitting other than changing colors. I really keep with that stock and that stitch. Stock and that stitch. Stuff. 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 <laughs> I literally can't say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> So here she is, my beautiful, hideous sweater. I love it. I'm gonna wear it every day. I'm gonna make a hundred in a million different colors. Um, that numbers, the, no, no, math, no. I don't do math, I'm gay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. And I hope you come back for more. Here's another video you can check out. Click the link. Have a great day. It's a it's a disaster in the most beautiful way. <laughs>